how much can you expect to earn with the in your first day for the mandazi business so you can expect to what is up my people this is your boy larux 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 and so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to start a mandazi business so this business is a good business because i've done it before and i have made some money in it so i know what i'm talking about plus i also got some information from uh, mandazi seller himself he, he wrote this information for me so you have everything you need after this video you will be able to start this mandazi business comfortably without any struggles nothing but before i start i would like you to subscribe and share this video to as many people as possible so that you do not get enlightened alone so that all of us may be enlightened and know how to start this business so that so that we can improve our lives so that you can also help someone the way i'm helping you guys so we are going to start so make sure you subscribe i hope you have subscribed right now and like this video if you like it if you do not like it also dislike it and tell me why you don't like it in the comments section be, be below and so without further ado let us begin so first of all i'm gonna be starting with the big expenses and the big expenses include the first one is the table you need a table where you're going to need the dough and uh, this table costs around uh, 1000 shillings and uh, if you get it from a carpenter if you get it from uh, the magendo places it can cost less but i bought it for 1000 shillings so you need this this table so i will show you the example after this video so after the table the other thing you will need um, after the table the other thing you will need is the mandazi box which costs around 1200 if you buy them in the magendo places in the yeah in those areas you will find them for around 1200 shillings but if you go to the kamkunji area you will find the mandazi box uh, for 2500 shillings this is a must when you're starting this business you need to have these tools you need to have the table and the mandazi box so the mandazi box is where you place the mandazis i'm sure when you go to buy mandazis you see the places where they pick the mandazis from that the, 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 that where is the mandazi the, 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 the mandazi box so that one you need is 2500 shillings if you buy it from jokali and 1200 shillings if you buy it from the cheaper areas but the next thing you need is uh, the karai the, the where you will be cooking the mandazis i'm sure you all know this thing the karai this is uh, very important is uh, is uh, the tool you need to actually cook the, those mandazis and this one costs uh, 1000 shillings yeah so it's only 1000 shillings you can find them in the supermarket so just buy them from the supermarket and you're good to go and so the final thing is the rent you need a place where you will place your your tools and start working immediately and uh, this place costs around uh, 1500 and uh, 2500 shillings per month if you find a place you can get a place for free but i do not recommend that one because you will get into problems with the kanjo so you just find a nice place and uh, you will rent it for around uh, 1500 to 2500 so in total the big expenses will amount to 5200 if you go with the cheap mandazi box if you go with the expensive mandazi box well, the it will amount to 6500 so just budget between uh, 5k and 7k and you're good to go for the big expenses so right now we move to the small expenses with the small expenses you first need the ladol and uh, the yukijiko mandazi the kijiko from the mandazi kijiko and it costs around 200 when you buy it from the supermarket and this is what you'll use to pick the mandazi from the hot oil and uh, yeah so the ladle is it costs around 200 shillings. also need the, the the knife the knife you can get from the supermarket for also around 200 shillings and 100 shillings you need only one knife to cut the the dough when you finish it to shape it into the mandazi and uh, yeah it costs around 100 to 200 shillings you can buy two if you want but i recommend you buy one so and the next thing you need the uh, containers vipuyu you need at least a uh, uh, 20 liter uh, container so that you can store water inside there and uh, this costs around 100 per container 20 liter container so you buy two 
uh, that's what I recommend and uh, so you need the rolling pin which costs around 100 shillings and uh, the rolling pin will cost around uh, around 100 shillings so to roll the dough and uh, yeah so buy the rolling pin buy a big rolling pin because you are going to be rolling for many people as in the amount of people you are going to be rolling for is not the amount that uh, the normal rolling pin is meant for and so you also need uh, your wood 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 you can you need to find someone who can supply you for the wood you can ask the chokoras or you, you can also use gas if you want and uh, for the wood you will spend 200 shillings and i recommend no 200 100 shillings every day for 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 that wood will be enough for you to cook the whole day for instead of gas gas you'll be buying at least every week so i recommend you buy the wood from the from the street boys in the streets and uh, yeah, it will only cost 100 shillings, so the wood is 100 shillings, but if you want to buy the gas, uh, I recommend you buy the gas, because the hassle for the wood can be time consuming and energy consuming, so buy the gas if you have the money, buy the gas, but if you're just starting out, stick to the wood, you'll upgrade as you progress further. So that is the small expenses part one and I'm coming with part two. The reason I'm doing this is so that it can be easy to understand because I know there are some things which can sound uh, confusing so that's why I am branching this video. So this is small expenses part one and the total cost for this will be 650 shillings which is not uh, a lot of money at all considering you're starting a business that can give you a great income, a good income. So we are at part two of the small expenses and so the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the unga and uh, so if you're beginning, if you're starting out, I recommend you buy the 2kg uh, XA Mandazi flour and uh, because this uh, is just recommended by all Mandazi sellers so I recommend you buy this one and it's only 130 shillings uh, yeah and I recommend them you buy at Naivas if you are near at any Naivas buy the packets at Naivas because they are cheaper and uh, so it's 130 shillings and if you sell the whole packet you get at least 360 shillings and the highest you can get is 400 shillings so you get some good profit there so do the math and you will see you get some profit there so yeah so buy XM and as if like 2 kg if you're starting out but if you can afford the bail which is 12 packets you can buy the bail the whole bail is around uh, 1694 which is 1700 shillings for the old bill which i think is quite expensive if you're big if you're just starting out so stick to the 2 kg um, unga packet of unga and uh, yeah and the good thing about x is also there is a recipe there for mandazi so it just simplifies things for you it makes them easier so you don't have to, you don't have to look for the recipes from you youtubers or anything so you just start it there yeah so the other expense is the solid cooking fat kupima, which is uh, 3 kg is uh, i think 300 shillings which is uh, good if you're starting out if you can buy the the like uh, the 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 liquid one buy the liquid one because it's uh, it is uh, preferred to the solid one obviously but the liquid one is more expensive and which means it uh, it is more cost for you so I recommend you buy the the solid cooking fat if you're starting out and uh, buy three kgs and uh, this will only be 300 shillings and yeah so that is it man so let us move to the next one so the next one is table salt which is uh, 20 shillings which is quite cheap and uh, yeah and the final one is the yeast which is uh, 100 shillings and uh, the yeast to make the mandazi rice and yeah you guys so that is it and so in total it will come to it will come to 640 so in total it come to 2000 shillings for all the expenses so uh, when we add up to the other expenses it will come to around 9000 shillings so 9000 shillings will have you will have a business with 9000 shillings you'll have a complete business and uh, a mandazi business and so 
there are of, of course the other costs and uh, the other miscellaneous expenses so just set aside 13,000 and you'll be good to go so that is it you guys make sure you subscribe you like and share this video to everyone you know and uh, yeah if you like this video and enjoyed it subscribe share and like see you later bye bye boom so how much can you expect to earn with the in your first day for the mandazi business so you can expect to finish the two packets of mandazi in the morning and uh, you know mandazi business is usually opened in the morning because in the morning is where the it is at its peak so asubuhi saila so ameamka so anaenda chuo that is the best time to to sell mandazis around 5 to 8 am so if you are new to this to that place and the people don't know you i think you will make around see you have bought two packets the way i've told you and uh, you have started that business that day so and one packet brings around 360 so let's say you make this mandazis and uh, you bring let's say 400 shillings so 400 shillings for those two packets it will be 800 shillings so in the morning you have, you have, you will be you will, you will have made 800 shillings and that is a guarantee i'm sure if you go to a place uh, where there is a lot of people and uh, while choosing the place i recommend this is something i forgot to say while choosing the place i for, i recommend getting a place where there is uh, a lot of children and a lot of people and uh, if you get a place like that you will sell that uh, you sell the two packets within um, an hour in the morning you will have sold all those two packets so you will be waiting for the afternoon hours where you will come also in the afternoon around 2 to 5 pm because also there are some people the, there are some people who take mandazi during that time so at that time you can also sell another 800 uh, but it all depends on your work ethic and if you are willing to cook more than uh, if the people get used to you and uh, you can sell up to 12 packets daily which is good money you do 12 times 400 which is uh, you can make 4800 shillings per day so it depends on who you employ so be careful on the people you employ don't just employ anyone just study the person you employ if you want to employ a, someone to do that work and not you be careful on who you are employing because this matters a lot the person who you employ will either kill you or will make you so this is very very important please please listen carefully this is very important if you mess this up you are out of this business and you will you will not like this business choose the right partner choose the right partner to partner with you this if you're doing this yourself you have to put in the work you have to wake up early and uh, uh, cook those mandazis as early as you can and uh, around 5 a.m you are already cooking you already you have already needed the, the needed the dough so these are just pointers i'm giving you so if you are alone you can make more money you you will make more money sorry but you will be exchanging your time for money but if you're employing someone you will be making money while you're doing whatever you want to do so that is it you guys i hope you like this video Make sure you like and subscribe and join the Team Shing family and we are the greatest family because we care for each other. I care for you and uh, let no one tell you that I don't care for you. I care for you all. I care for everyone. If you need any help, any assistance, leave your uh, nini, your queries down below and I will be sure to answer all of them. And 